Hello students, welcome back. This class is going to be about tactics and we're going to train a theme that many players underestimate because they think that they're so advanced that they don't have to go over such a basic theme. And the truth is that this theme is so basic but at the same time so important that we train it. So all I'm asking is that today you do these exercises with me and if you get them all right then you could forget about this theme, you don't have to train it anymore. But if you missed only one, I think you should spend some time on it. And the theme is actually hanging pieces. If you're new to this concept, a hanging piece is a piece that has no defenders. Like in this case, if you look at the black pieces, this knight right here is a hanging piece. So if I took it with the queen, there's no black piece protecting it and able to capture me back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in segments. So we're going to start with some easy hanging pieces exercises, then we're going to do some intermediate ones, and finally we're going to do some really difficult ones like this one that you have in front of you. I challenge you to pause the video if you like, give it a try, and by the way this is something we're going to be doing every time. Anytime I put a new position in front of you, pause the video, try to do it yourself, and then I'm going to reveal the, the answer. This one I'm not going to go over it right now, but just know that moves and, and I hope that you already pause the video and, and try to do it yourself. All I'm going to say is that moves like queen d7 are not the answer, queen c1, um, queen b4. So this is just to give you an idea of how tough it is. So well, like I said, I'm going to go back to uh, some basic ones and then we make our way up. So I'm just going to go here. And as you can see, I had it between 2000 and 2500. That's the, the strength that I wanted the tactics to be. So I'm going to change that to start to... 100 to 800. So I'm going to hit start and here we go. It tells me up here I'm the white pieces to move and I'm looking for a tactic. Typically it's going to be a piece that you could capture for free like a hanging piece or a piece that is protected but you have more attackers than they have defender. This one should be pretty easy and the, rook, the, the queen is actually hanging and I could take it with the rook. So that's going to be the answer here. That's it. That's, that's 656. Pretty easy. Let's just do a couple more. Um, I'm black pieces to move and I already see the hanging piece is going to be the pawn and the knight. Now which one make, makes more sense? Well I think we have to take the free knight. This pawn is going nowhere so it only makes sense. That said, so 638 the theme is hanging pieces and they also mention a bishop pair because we have the two bishops on the board. So we're gonna do the last one, the last easy one and with the white pieces to move so if you pause the video, I think the answer is just, let me make sure I'm not missing anything, but it's just taking the queen again, which is hanging. So these are very easy. Now I'm going to, and again, we have hanging pieces, bishop pair, and rook on the seventh rank. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to change this from 1500 to 2000 and I'm going to hit start. Now before I hit start guys, it's important to remember when you're playing your game, you have to always keep in mind that your pieces need to work as a team. They need to be protecting each other because if not, you run into problems like this. If your opponent is the one that has hanging pieces, we have to find ways to exploit that. So now let me just hit start. We are the white pieces. And let me see, I already see hanging piece right here. But if I just take the knight, I realized that they have a battery on my e3 bishop. So you see, this bishop we can say is a, is a problem for us because they're attacking it twice. So automatically we need to think, okay, let me liquidate my bishop. That's a problem that I have. So bishop takes e5. They have no time to collect my knight because I'm hitting the queen and the rook. So I think the answer is bishop takes bishop, queen takes, and then my knight and, and queen can actually collect here. But we have to be really precise here. When bishop takes, queen takes, how are we going to take? Are we going to take with the knight or with the queen? It's not the same thing. And the truth is we have to take with the knight because if we take with the queen, then they could just collect the knight. So bishop takes e5, and now knight takes e3. And that's the answer. So this is 1831, and we just have hanging pieces as the theme. So let's do two more. Let me see, um, hanging piece, hmm, everything looks protected, I'm the black pieces, what could it be? Well, I think I just found it, I think, see this one is more complex, so I think it's queen takes queen, 
rook takes then I'm going to pin the hanging knight so once I eliminate the defender it's going to become a hanging piece and even if they defended it so I'm calculating again queen takes queen rook takes bishop a6 even if they protected it I'm going to eliminate the defender of the bishop so at that point the bishop becomes the hanging piece again it's such a basic concept but it could really be of huge importance so I take bishop a6 and they don't even want me to continue anymore so that's what the answer was now finally we're going to do a, a few of the really advanced ones so I'm going to go change here from 2000 to 2500 and I'm going to hit start so now um, we are the white pieces and again this is hanging ball this should be pretty easy actually so I cannot get the rook it's not a hanging piece because of the knight but if I eliminate the defender then I could collect the rook let me make sure I'm not missing anything and I think this is a winning end game because we have a more active king so we take and then we take and now they want us to continue to make sure that we know how to win this uh, this end game so I think the right maneuver is to go king b6 and then when the king moves we're going to go towards the pawn king b6 opposition so I'm gonna go here to take lateral opposition and we talked about this a few lessons ago now I need to continue to get this uh, this pawn so king d8 actually this went from hanging piece to a really complex end game here we go this was a 2202 and look at this end game tactics exchange sacrifice hanging pieces there all position remove the defender so we mentioned all of those themes all right so we're gonna do one two more white pieces to move and what's the hanging piece if you think about it all of the black pieces are protected so there's no hanging piece that I can see so what's the tactic maybe we can create a hanging piece if I get to the eighth rank that's going to be checkmate but I don't I cannot get there in one move well, I think the move is going to be queen e5, threatening to go down, and then I'm going to have, it has to be, I'm going to have knight e6, putting pressure on g7, so let me just double check that, queen e5, hmm. or maybe we just go uh, queen d3, seems like a stronger move, so you could do queen d3 and then re-threatening, um, checkmate on the back rank, but also h7. So let me give it a try. Uh, and they don't even have check, because if they go queen e6, we could just take with the knight. So queen d3 is a move. Then check. What is this? Oh, there you go. And look at this. Now, this is when the hanging piece thing comes in. So, so guys, post a the video. There's a very nice tactic here. And let's see if you can figure it out. The move that I think is going to be the answer is actually queen takes rook. Because when the queen takes, that queen is going to be hanging, and we can do a very nice fork on the queen and the king. So check, they're forced to take, and then we take back. And this was a 22, come on, 2200, that has to be more than that. But anyways, guys, here we go. Uh, the purpose of this lesson is just to point out the importance of this thing, the hanging pieces. So just take the time to do some exercises and find out if this is something that you're having trouble with or not. With that said, I will see you next class and by the way i'm leaving the link in the description in case you want to use this website to uh, practice the way i did so until next time